Welcome back. Okay, so now I have finally done, I guess, the beginnings of porting it to React from Vanilla.js. So here's how I'm structuring the app so far. I'll just kind of do a quick overview. Let me go ahead and, sh and show what has been done so far, and then I'll show you how I'm structuring the code. Still with Bootstrap, we got a nav bar here and a few drop downs. We have our profile selector. We can add or remove profiles. So this is more styling that will come later. So let's go through this, the process of adding a profile. We just have a component here that we can add or remove profiles from. So let's add a profile. Actually, let me show you what's going on in the background. So let's go ahead and change our profile. You see current profile gets changed. Okay. So we can add profiles now and profiles are being stored in, they're in the store right here in profiles, but um, I also store them in local storage. In profiles. It gets stored in here as well. Um, and I just parse them back into context at startup. So let's keep on keep on going. So I can I can remove profiles and I can add profiles. So whenever it does that, it sets state to uh, the uh, profile object. It modifies the one in memory and then also it uh, it does the same thing for the one in local storage. So that gets updated as well. We can go to setup, so we can add symbol data. So actually, let's go ahead and switch our profile to Polo that we just created. Uh, let's not pay attention to this for now. Can I go do a search here? So we can search for the symbols here. You know, I have this one hard coded because I was testing it out, but we can start doing stuff like AAPL. So now I actually have the code. I have this match um, via a regex pattern. So it, it does. It doesn't do a substring anymore. It does begins with and then the search such as to the string so we can add or remove um so you can see here so still working on this the details box that's coming up next but we can add other symbols so it can be amd and you see how that looks just like before but now it's all reactive everything you know once you do set state it re-renders the component and then it drills down to, um, so now I don't have to manually re-render every single child component because React does that for me. So let's do INTC. Let's do GME, boys. You can see that for this profile, these um, four tickers got um, added. So let's see if we can see it here. Specify the Apple AMD Intel uh, GameStop. Okay, so that part's all, you know, kind of working. Um, we, I'm using a file from NASDAQ. Um, I'm going to just link to that file in the final version. But I'm going to leave this in, in the bundle so we can actually at least get some of the common stuff. I know things might be added later on. So you can get a more up-to-date version. Um, so that's why I'm going to leave this option in here. Because whenever you choose a file in here, it just... It just... Uh, updates the built-in CSV right here that shows you all the symbols and some data that we not really we don't really care about we just need to to do this fancy search thing so that's it so far in terms of functionality I'm still working on the styling still working on the feature set charts are gonna be probably coming up soon but now let's take a look at how I'm laying out the code for the react side of things everything starts at app dot uh, actually index and then goes through app and then app goes to our router component and then uh, I, I think it's just I'm going to keep everything as a single page so everything's going to be just um, on this uh, root, root path right here and we're using a home page and on the home page we have just these different sections that you that you were seeing before um, and they have some logic to hide themselves based on um, uh, based on let's see based on these display flags so once you know once these are set to true which I can demonstrate for you right here then actually I can just toggle it on or off then uh, the, the component becomes visible so it's just really straightforward I don't have to do any fancy uh, anything fancy right here so pretty straightforward there so here's the full the structure I set up I have assets 
which I get the in text is where I, I save the CSV file from NASDAQ. Um, components and each component has its own folder and in the side of the folder you have the index.jsx that's the component itself all right so it's all functional components um, all right all functional components we use context all that fun stuff um, and then inside some components you have sub components and they follow the same structure they're just nested um, inside each other the functions we don't have anything here hooks we don't end up using any hooks um, because the app is kind of simple, but we might end up using a few uh, when we start dealing with uh, API requests. Pages, that's what I was showing you before, just a, sim a single page, and then each component has its own logic to, to render itself, routing, simple React Router. Um, so that's, that's it for the, um, the app so far. I think the next step is going to be um, getting the relevant... Um, dividend data from so the Rapid API uh, or the Yahoo Finance API and then figuring out how I want to express the charting um, and some of the math involved. So I think that's going to be the next step. Okay, let me know if you guys uh, have any advice on any of this stuff because uh, I'm no React expert. Have a good one guys.